the slow with the TV a little. Yeah, that's what Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Donna. Hi, Amy. Oh, that cutting board is from Cutco. I love it. It's great. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sue. Hi, Carol. So I just got back from running a few errands. Uh, I went to, where did I go? I went to Target. I went to the farmer's market. And I went to um, Costco. So I needed a few things because uh, I'm going to be making tomorrow night uh, a, a turkey uh, meatloaf. I'm going to make tomorrow night. So I needed a few things for that. And I'm just here putting some of my groceries away. I got apples. I got nectarines. I got watermelon. I don't know how good the watermelon is going to be because it's not the season. But it looked good. I bought a piece already cut. And it looked good. So we'll try it. Hopefully it's good. I bought a baby watermelon the other day. Where, where did I get that? I think it was ShopRite. I opened it. I was so upset. It was all rotten. And the and it felt so nice and hard. So I don't get it. I, I bought this little basket at Target because I put everything in my corner over here. And I hate it. I hate the way that looks. But it's stuff that I use all the time. So I, you know, I said, let me see. I bought a nice spaghetti squash. Delicious. So I'm just unpacking a little bit my stuff. I'm gonna make Mauro a little bit of lentils tonight because he loves them. And uh, simple tonight, very simple. I'm keeping it simple tonight, Mauro. Mauro got home early, so my love is home. He's the best. I'm gonna rinse my lentils. So I can get these started. Because my love loves lentils. I'm going to rinse these off. Okay. What should I pick some out that I don't like? Let's rinse these off. My water pressure was low this morning. Thank God it's working again. I don't know what that's all about. I'm just rinsing my lentils. Let them drain. I haven't made lentils in a while. Oh, what'd you miss? I went, uh, I did a few errands. I went to the dry clean. I went to Costco. I went to Target. I went to the farmer's market. Hi, Janice. So I'm just unloading a few things. Tomorrow night, I don't know when you'll see it, I'm going to make a, a turkey meatloaf. And let me tell you something. The, the Heinz uh, brown gravy is delicious. Whenever I make it with a brown gravy, I always use this. It's very, very good. Love, love, love it. And this is good too. The uh, Justin's uh, peanut butter. It's supposed to be healthier for you. I'm not a big peanut butter person, but my son likes to put it on an apple and my daughter Mary. But then I cheated. I saw, I saw a commercial last night and I said, oh my God, I haven't had Cool Ranch Doritos in a long time. So I only bought the little bag. <laughs> well, it's not real little, but I got a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. 
I got red onions. I got a nice pineapple from the farmer's market. I got spaghetti squash. I got celery. I got savory cabbage. This is the, called the savory one. I like this. I got onions, of course, because you know me with the onions. Tonight, I'm going to make, I just took out two steaks. I'm going to slice them, and I'm going to, because we're going to eat the lentils too, so I don't want too much food. I'm going to slice them, cook them in the frying pan with mushrooms and onions. My husband will love that. And I got some fresh garlic. I always buy my garlic from the farmer's market already peeled, because I use a lot of it, and it's so much easier. You know, and then I got these oranges, but I got them last time. If you saw my Costco haul, you saw them. They look disturbed. They're the best. They're juicy, delicious. I got another box. They were seven eighty nine. I remember I went to New York one time in Italy, the um, that big uh, Italian store. One of them was six dollars. This whole box was seven eighty nine. I think. Good oranges. Very good oranges. So what do I got to do first? Let me see, guys. Uh, oh, okay, you're going to stay with me. I'm going to prep for my um, for my lentils. I'm going to prep. I need an onion. I need some garlic. And we're going to get ready. We're going to get ready to prep for tonight. Okay. I have a garlic already open. See, I took the one. I want to use these first before I use the other one. I got my Italian soda that I got at Uncle Giuseppe's. This is my afternoon pick-me-up. It's coffee soda. Mmm. And so good. It's from Italy. And this is my uh, uh, the fresh chicken broth that I had in the freezer. I'm going to use this with my lentils, the uh, chicken stock that I made. So I'm going to use that for my lentils, which I think will be delish. So what I'm going to do first is start prepping for my, um, sometimes I put carrots in it. I'm on the move for carrots, so I'm not. Maru, is that okay if I don't put carrots in the lentils? Yeah. I'm not in the mood for carrots. I'm going to be different. And I know a lot of people were asking about my cutting board. I have all different sizes. These are from Cutco. I don't think Cutco makes them. There's no name on them, but Cutco carries them. They're the best. Very, very good. I love my new cutting boards. I love, love, love them. I'm just getting my knife. I'm going to get my pot to start my lentils. I think I got to do it on the, because that pot's too big. I'm trying to see which one I'm using. This is a big pot for the lentils. I could still use it. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. I'm just getting all my stuff that I need for my lentils. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I'm going to make it more plain tonight, I think, Mauro. I'm talking to my husband. He's on the couch. He says he's not feeling too good. I think he's overtired. That's the problem. My love. Oh, and I want to get an apron because I don't want to get my new sweatshirt stained. I got a nice uh, haul coming. I got a few tops from Old Navy the other day. Let me tell you something. You can't beat it. The price for everyday stuff, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And I was so excited... <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to tell you everything because I want you to see my video, but I haven't bought a size medium in forever. I had to put my glasses, I kept putting my glasses back on saying, is this really a size medium? Then it said oversized. I says, I don't care. Oversized, not oversized. It was a medium. So I was very excited. So the sweatshirt I'm wearing is size medium. So I should lay off of these, right? <laughs> Listen, we got to have a little fun in life. Otherwise, it's no fun. It's not, you know, how could you not? But you know what I am going to add? A little bit of celery because celery gives nice flavor, okay? So I am going to add a little celery uh, in my lentils. And I love using the leaves. Just a little bit for flavor. So 
I got, I just got that celery from the farmer's market. I'm going to put the, I'm going to rinse these off real quick. Rinsey, rinsey. Okay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Eat Doritos, you only live once, I know. And you know what? I don't buy them a lot, so I don't care. Sometimes you got to live a little, you're right. As long as, you know, everything in moderation is okay. That's the thing. That's what people, you know, sometimes not, me too. We forget, as long as you have it once in a while, a little bit, it's okay. It really is. It's okay. So I'm just cutting my celery, because I'm gonna put this in. It gives the lentils a nice flavor. See, sometimes I don't make things the same all the time. I switch it up, you know? Sometimes I put carrots and um, celery. Today I'm not in the mood for carrots. I'm not in a carrot mood. So no carrots today. I'm gonna put onions, garlic, and I'm gonna keep the leaf of the celery. To, uh, that gives it beautiful flavor. I love the celery leaves. I always use them. Always, always, always. Always, always, always. Okay, so we got that cut. Let me get a little bowl so we stay organized. I like it nice and organized. Don't mind all my groceries on the counter. I didn't get a chance to put everything away yet. Okay, just putting my celery in there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut my onion now. Every day is a new day, that's for sure. Hello, Gina. Hi, Sherry. I sound like Bart Simpson's wife. I've never watched that show. That's a, com a, a, a cartoon, right? Adult for the adults. I never watched that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check her out and see if I sound like her, right? Uh, thank you, Roseanne. Thank you. Hi, Debbie. Is that a new Cutco knife? This is, yeah, these are my, um, all my knives that I use uh, are from Cutco. This is a cheese knife, but let me tell you something. It's more than a cheese knife. I use this knife for so many things. I got knives in there that I don't even know what to do with. I don't even know what, how, what they're for. I uh, I have my son Google with me. I said, oh, all right, what's this one for? What's that one for? But the cheese knife is great. You can use it for a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things. Cut so beautiful, the Cutco knives. They're unbelievable. I've been have, using Cutco since my since I got married. I, had, I got them at my uh, bridal shower. My mother got me Cutco knives at my bridal shower 33 years ago. Can't beat it. Can't beat them. And they stand by their product. You know, if something goes wrong with your knife, uh, it's, it's replaced, no questions asked. And uh, you can have them sharpened for free at any time. You know, you send them out and they sharpen them. No problem, no questions asked. It's a beautiful thing. When a company's good and you can rely on them, and it's family owned. It's it's a beautiful company. Me and Mauro went to visit there. I did some cooking with them. It was wonderful. See, now when I do the lentils, I don't cut the garlic. I'm just taking those little heads off of the garlic. And I'm going to put the garlic in whole. Because that's the way I like to do it. Because then when the garlic gets soft, I like to smush it. And it's delicious. Delicious. Delish. Delish. Delish, delish, delish. Okay, so we're good with that. Okay, now we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna heat up my pan. I think I could use induction tonight. I don't have to use the gas range to do this. I'm at my induction, so let me get the camera, off, the thing off of there. We don't want to. No problem. So I'm turning it on. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna heat up my pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil in my life. <laughs> okay. And first, I'm gonna saute the vegetables when this heats up. But while that heats up, you love lentils? Me too. I've been eating lentils forever. My parents used to make them all the time. Hi, Sandy from Hawaii. I wish I was in Hawaii. Thank you, Alexa. Do you still work at the bakery? Only when needed. I had two knee replacements. I'm 56 now. So it was time for me to, you know, step back a little bit. But when they need me, they call me. Do I put the knives in the dishwasher? You know what? I think they are dishwasher safe, but I wash them. I don't put them in the dishwasher. I don't. Aw, oh, thank you, Andrea. Hello, Georgie, Georgiana. I hope I said that right. There is no difference. Someone said, why am I using induction? Listen, I never had induction. This is new to me, okay? And this is an induction cooktop. You know what? I'm making the lentils. It's easy. I'm right here. And let me tell you something. The cleanup on that is easy. When I use my range, that's my range, okay? I take all the, th the things off that I'm not using. I cover it. It's a pain in the neck to clean. So if I'm just doing a little cooking, I use my induction. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, she said, why are you using induction instead of gas? Because I have it. So why, why wouldn't I use it? Right? Love you. It's, it is what it is. Your mom had two knee replacements. She's always in pain. I have to say, uh, the knee replacements did help. It helped a lot more since I lost some weight because the doctor kept telling me, listen, you have to lose weight. I'm telling you. Your knees are going to feel better. Your knees are going to feel better. And guess what? The doctor was right because they do. All right, I'm going to get my onions to throw in. Wait. All right. So I'm putting my onions and garlic in here. I'm putting in my garlic now too because I leave them whole. So I'm just getting those in here. I got to get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. Mamma mia. Okay. And my friend bought me this. I love it. It's a spoon holder. It says, life is short, lick the spoon. How cute is that? And it's true. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to mixy mix this. We're going to let this saute a little bit. I'm going to get my cover. Make that a little higher, okay? I'm gonna get my cover so we sweat those down a little bit. Is this the right one? Wrong cover. Okay. And these are my hex clad pots. Let me tell you something. You could use them. Oh, excuse me. You could use them on gas or electric, and they're wonderful. Very, very easy to clean. I love them. And you could use metal utensils in there. I mean, listen, I usually use uh, wooden when I'm cooking, but you can if you want. You can. There's, uh, there's the sky's the limit. <laughs> What's that saying? The sky is the limit? How do I say that? <laughs> sky's the limit. Where do you buy your Cutco knives? Online, you could buy them. You can buy them online. They're wonderful. They have the reps. I know they have uh, reps that come to your house, right? But I don't know how to do that. No? Okay. Okie dokie. A little salt and pepper to taste. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful. It was a little chilly out today. You know, compared to the way it's been, it was chilly, right? A little chilly today. So we're going to let that cook down. I'm going to talk to you guys while that's doing that. 
Let's see. Some lady named Louise said she's going for knee surgery. Oh, good luck, Louise. Um, good luck. It's, um, it's, a, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, it's a tough recovery, but I did it. <laughs> it's a tough recovery, but it, it, it's all good. Uh, you, thank you, Lisa. You use Cutco's knives since the eighties. I'm telling you, right? I still love you too, George. Did I buy the dog carriage? I sure did. My little boo-boo. I took him for a walk the other day. I'm making lentils tonight, Lisa. I took him for a walk the other day. And halfway around my development, uh, he, he he stopped. He was done. He didn't want to walk no more. So I says, you know what? You know why? He has a collapsing trach and he gets out of breath, my poor baby boy. So I, I, um, you know, I got the carriage because sometimes he can't walk that much. What am I going to do? I'd do anything for that dog. Oh, uh, thank you, Amber. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Lisa. Listen, this world needs more love. Let's spread it. Let's be kind. Let's be nice. Right? It's a, br br a brutal surgery, but good after therapy. Yeah. It, no, it is. Listen, you, it is. You got it. If you need it, you got to. Home model feels better. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, he's, um, he, he, he's, I think he's just overtired. I really, really do. I think that that's the problem, my poor love. All right, so here goes, here goes, a, here goes a lady that's got Look at this lady, Lucha. She said, non sapete cucinare. You don't know how to cook. Who said that? Some lady named Nucha. She said that I don't know how to cook? She said, you guys don't know how to cook. This is funny bunny on my nails. Mauro said he's all, he's watching the live too. Um, he, he said that a uh, lady from Italy saying that we don't know how to cook. It's okay. I still no, love her. No, 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 no. What's her name? Nunzia? Nuccia. Nuccia. Hi, Nuccia. I love you. It's okay. Lucia, come stai, bella dall'Italia? No, non sappiamo cucinare. Perché tu sai cucinare? Come lo sai che noi non sappiamo cucinare? Diccelo tu. Hai mai assaggiato un mangiare nostro? No, eh? E non mangerai mai bene se non mangi il mangiare nostro. So. Yeah, but don't get mad. It's okay. No, but that's not nice. How does she know you don't know how to cook? It's how does okay. she know? A lot of Italians think that the yeah. Americans don't know how to cook. Tell them to shut up. I'm uh, Italian American. Uh, Some things are done a little different. You know what I'm saying? When somebody's fresh, I kill them with kindness. And I tell you, nine out of ten times it works. I'm telling you, it's true. You know what? Yesterday when I posted the corned beef. That smells good. What's that? The cell? You put the celery, celery in there? Yeah. Oh, that smells good. When I posted the corned beef, so many people, and I get a lot of love from Ireland, but so many people, see, I just threw in my celery now. We're going to cook that down a little bit. So many people from Ireland will comment that, oh, we don't even eat corned beef in Ireland. We make bacon and cabbage or ham and cabbage. Okay, I don't, I don't live in Ireland. I didn't know that. It's okay. In, in America, when it's St. Patty's Day, it's corned beef and cabbage. Am I right or am I right? Listen, I, I, I don't live in uh, Ireland. You know, so in, over here in America, we do corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> You know, I thought they did that in Ireland too, but a lot of people said they don't. So it's okay. And you know what? If I make something different than the way you make it, I'm sure your way is delicious too. But this is my way. This is how I like it. And I and I feel like if 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 we like it, that's the way I'm cooking it. It's okay. I love the lady from Italy. It's okay. <laughs> but listen, it's okay. It's okay. Da -da -da -da. I love her. I really do. See, now, Lynn said it the best. It's Madalena's way. That's right. That's it. And, and you might try something that I make, and you might not like it. It's okay. You know, maybe it's not your taste. It is what it is, but I still love her. What was her name? 
Nancia, Nuncia, mwah, ciao, ciao, Bella. <laughs> I'm giving her kisses. You know, it, it is what it is. And I put, and you got to be kind and put people in a, a good mood. Sometimes I go into the st a store, they don't want to be bothered. I switch it around. I kill them with kindness, and I swear to you, they're great. They, they switch their mood. Hi, Giuseppina. Oh, you're so sweet from an Italian. <laughs> Thank you. Who is that? Uh, Maria. Hi, Canada. Hi, Kathy. It's American. That's right. Rachel, it's American. Uh, what do I have to stop you, but most important thing is the love. Oh, see, someone said, I've been in Italy and had some of their stuff I don't like, and it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Annette said she made four of your recipes, and she loved them. Oh, good. Oh, this is sweating down beautifully. I rinsed my lentils. Pretty soon I'm going to throw them in. Oh, yeah, I, I keep turning it back and forth. I, I Because then when I answer, I got to turn it. I'm, I, uh, I'm cooking this down a little bit, and then I'm going to add my lentils, and I'm going to add my chicken stock that I made homemade. And my son said that it was delicious. See, I had this in the freezer. It's still frozen a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to defrost when I put it in the pot. <laughs> oh, Lisa. My sister-in-law, Lisa, puts out uh, some feast. Let me tell you something. That's not only for Christmas. Every time you go there, it's a, it's a, a meal. It's an unbelievable that? meal. That? It's Madalena's way on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> How cute, you guys. We're going to try and spread love, right, guys? That's it. We don't. And let me tell you something. Sometimes uh, my son will answer the comments. It's not me because I don't answer nasty if somebody's nasty. If, 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 I, if somebody answers, gives me a nasty comment, I kill him with kindness. No, but see, I don't answer nasty. But it burns my butt when somebody says something. They never tasted it. So how do they know your food's so good? Right. Janine, I, we remind you of our family, the crazy Italians. But we're good crazy, right? That's right. We're good crazy. And at the end of the day, who cares what people say if they're haters? Go ahead and hate. It's okay. I still love the haters. Why? This is to all the haters. Wait, I'm getting a sip of my coffee soda. <laughs> it's okay. And you know what? You'll have a lot of less stress and be peaceful if you let things go. I'm telling you. Gene Rinaldi said, we got your back. Oh, you guys are cute. Corned beef hash. Yeah, Mauro loves the old uh, corned beef hash. He loves it. I make it like that too. Everybody needs love. That's right. And they're, they're, they're lacking it because, listen, I'm not mean because I, I have love in my life. Always be kind, right? It's so true. It is true. It's, it's so much easier to be nice than to be mean. I'm sorry. I I feel it's so much easier to be nice. You know what? It just comes natural to me. <laughs> and listen, are there times when I get mad? Absolutely. But even if me and my oh, even if okay. even if me and my husband have a fight, we can't stay mad at each other. And I and I swear to God we can't. I'm telling you, it you never lasts. First. I do, because he gets stubborn and he won't talk to me. And then I apologize first all the time. I say, oh, come on, give me a kiss. Cut it out, I tell him. And then he starts laughing all the time. And then we make up. Don't tell anybody else. Oh, stop it. I tell everybody everything. What are you drinking? Coffee soda. Yes, I got this at Uncle Giuseppe's. My husband used to buy this for me in Italian deli a long time ago, okay? And I haven't seen this in years, and I saw it at Uncle Giuseppe's. That's a great store, Uncle Giuseppe's. I love it. And listen, is it the greatest for you? I don't think so. But you know what? Once in a while, everything in moderation, it works for me. So it's okay. 
It's okay. It's okay. Now I'm gonna get my lentils, guys. Can we see in my pot? Let me turn. Da -da 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 I put my lentils in. Okay. Now I'm gonna mixy, 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 and I'm gonna put my broth in. Okay. Delicious, delicious. I add a little bit more olive oil when I put my lentils in. Okay. Olive oil is good for you, it's healthy. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my bro my chicken stock, my homemade chicken stock. Okay, see it's still a little frozen, but it's okay. It's gonna defrost in here. It's homemade stock. Can't beat that, right? Can't beat that. I usually take it out earlier, but I forgot. So I took it out early this morning, then when I went out, I put it in my refrigerator. But look, it all crushed apart. And now we're gonna add a little more salt. We're gonna cover and let this cook. See that? We're gonna leave it alone. I'm using this big pot. I could have used a smaller one, but it's okay. It's okay, I ain't hurting nobody, right? So I lowered the heat on that on my induction, <laughs> okay? And we're gonna let those simmer, cause it's early. And we don't need to worry about that for now, right? Hi, Victoria from South Jersey. I'm making lentils. I like the induction. Um, uh, I still like my gas too. I'm glad I have both, but I do like the induction. You know what it is too? It's very, very easy to clean the induction. It really is, so I love that. It's very easy to clean. Easy to clean up. Yes, it is. Aw, oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you. Ciao the, uh, the, from Salerno, Mauro. My future son-in-law is calling me. I hung up on him. <laughs> I'll call him back. My, my, my future son-in-law, Paulie, my daughter that's engaged, Mary's uh, fiance, he calls me all the time. He's probably calling me to tell me his lunch was delicious because they slept here last night and I gave him lunch. What an ass kisser. Maria, baby doll, you're the best. Thank you. How was Sunday dinner with my father-in-law? It was good. I forgot to go back on. You know, I was a little busy and... um. But it was good. He loved them. I sent them home with a whole, uh, a whole container of uh, Sunday sauce. So he was happy. I sent them home with bread. Then my girls came back from the shore. You know, they had um, a, a bachelorette weekend for my niece. And they had all juice and everything. I sent them home with a gallon of orange juice. They had all stuff left over that they didn't use. So he was happy. He went home with, a, with bags. The lentils, I make them cook on low for at least an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, the, the, the cooktops, uh, the, the induction and the electric are very easy to clean. My daughter Mary actually lives with her boyfriend and they have uh, uh, electric. And she said, Mommy, when I move, I don't want a uh, gas. This is so easy to clean, she said to me. Do I add carrots? I do, Lorraine, all, pretty much all the time. And guess what? Tonight I wasn't in the mood. I said to my husband, if you joined in late, I said, Mauro, I'm not putting carrots in them tonight. I do things different sometimes. You know, I switch it up. So sometimes I uh, do um, no carrots. And sometimes I do. Tonight I added onions, garlic, and celery. And I love to use the leaves of the celery too. It gives it nice flavor. Hi, Linda. Mauro, I think he's tired, Donna. He says he doesn't feel good. I think he's tired. Oh, this is Funny Bunny. Sometimes I do just Funny Bunny, and then other times I do two coats of Funny Bunny and one coat of Bubble Bath. But this, <laughs> the other day I said, just give me Funny Bunny today. <laughs> so this is called Funny Bunny. Yeah, but if you put a coat of another color on top of that, don't you miss the other color? 
It makes it gives it a different color. It's nice. Uh, I you miss Sunday sauce uh, with your family, Amy. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, right? Just cook it and invite some friends. Oh, you are, you're related to Giuseppe. Okay. I put uh, spinach chopped. That sounds delicious, Amelia. How did I learn how to cook? I grew up with grandparents that cooked. My parents cooked. My Then when I met Mauro, um, because his, his mother was from Northern Italy, so the cooking was a little different. So his mother taught me things. Uh, <coughs> oh, good, Jennifer. His mother taught me things that we never made because he's from Northern Italy. She was wonderful, my mother-in-law. God rest her soul. We miss her so much. <coughs> she was a good woman. Oh, thank you, Marie. You love my lipstick color. It's actually lip liner. It's MAC. Um, half red. And I use it as a... Because they don't make it in the lipstick. They only do it in the liner. So I, I may put the liner on my lips. My daughter tells me, you're not supposed to do that. It's, it's drying. I says, listen, I'm doing it. Hi, Paula. Yes, I do have Sunday sauce recipe, Beverly. It's on our YouTube channel, Family Talk and Taste. The link is in our bio. Oh, thank you, Diane. Thank you. Hi, Cindy. Uh, thank you, guys. Loved watching you guys make the stuffed artichokes. Oh, yeah, I love stuffed artichokes. My mother-in-law, nobody made them like her. She made them the best. What will I be serving the lentils with? I'm going to, I took, I defrosted two steaks. I said, I don't want too much oh, meat. No, no, I'm making them. I want it. And I got, I'm going to slice it. And I'm going to put, saute some mushrooms and onions and I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna make a little steak. Mauro say, no, don't make the steak, don't make the steak. But I'm gonna make it, I don't care. I'm in the mood for a little steak. Oh, uh, thank you, Connie. Thank you. I love it, because it's all open concept, the new house. And, and uh, oh, Kim, you're adorable. Uh, my, uh, my bedroom's even on the main level. I just love it. <clears throat> it's a lot easier for me. Thank you, Leslie. Do I put sugar in my sauce? Yes, very, very little. Just a dash. Hi, D, my friend D. Mwah, she's a doll, D. Uh, no, Sandy, sometimes I put pasta, not always. My sister Mary always makes it with pasta. Oh, guess what, Linda? I'm not cooking for Easter. We're going to brunch. <laughs> This is the first year. I don't think we ever went out for Easter unless we were on vacation. So we're going to brunch at, um, uh, where are we going? The Brownstone. We're going to the Brownstone this year. So no cooking. We usually split the holiday. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes my sister Mary will do it. Most of the times my sister-in-law and my brother do it. Uh, thanks, D. Always made lentils with spaghetti. Yes, my mother used to break the spaghetti uh, in small pieces and make it with that. That's an old memory. Yeah, sometimes Mauro doesn't want it with the pasta. I love the lentils with the pasta. Oh, you make some of my dishes, Lisa. Yes. I'm definitely going to post the dress shopping, Jennifer. We're going Wednesday. To Kleinfeld, say yes to the dress. I now I can't show you the dress that she picked because we we can't you know everybody got to wait till the wedding for that. So, but I will take you along with us. Yes, I'm gonna do a video for sure. Do you make Easter bread? Mauro's gonna make it. He promises. You're going out for Easter too, Lori. It's, you know, sometimes you need a little break. Ciao, Antonella, Antonella from Italy. Do you make cauliflower macaronis? Yes, delicious. I make pasta with broccoli, pasta with cauliflower. I love that. 
pasta with chickpeas. Mauda loves pasta and potatoes. Oh, you're going to Macaluso's for Easter. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, the name of my pots, Anne Maria, hex clad. They're very good. When did we get married? Me and Mauda married 32 years. I will, Rob, and I'll try. It's going to be 33 years in October that we're married. I know, Carolyn, we want to make a cookbook. We really do. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're, we're going to try and do that. Hello, South Africa, Lynette. Cauliflower macaroni. My nonna used to make it. Louise, right? That's delicious. I haven't made it in a while. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, Randy. I, hope, I don't know if Randy's going to be there tomorrow, Joanne. I love Randy, too. I love Randy, too. The wedding's going to be at Macaluso. Hi, Roseanne. Oh, thank you. Oh, Biscotti. What's Biscotti? What's the matter, Papa? Where are you going? He must hear somebody. Maybe he hears the mailman. He's barking. How cute is he? Oh, your host eats the dinner, Brandy, at your house. Very nice. Marge, 37 years. God bless. 52 years, Marie. God bless you, married. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. You're from Peru. Uh, thank you. You love the food I prepare. Hi, Canada, Ontario, Canada. You know, when I posted my haul uh, in Can um, from Costco, the people in Canada told me they couldn't believe some of the prices that the stuff... Uh, uh, you know, the stuff is so much more expensive at the Costco in uh, Canada. I was surprised, yeah. Uh, thank you, Diane. Thank you, guys. 20 years in April. God bless, Beverly. Uh, thank you, Kathy. You guys are so wonderful. See, there are nice people in the world. Ciao, uh, Italia, from Sicily. Wait, what did Debbie say? I have cats named Biscotti, Cappuccino, and Cannoli. How cute. That's so cute. Yeah, my daughter named Biscotti. Come here, Biscotti. Where are you, boo-boo? Where did he go, Mauro? He's by you? No. I don't know where he went. Oh, come here. He, you know, he's by the closet. He wants a treat. Wait, we're gonna say hi, bye-bye. Wait, I'm gonna, uh, you gotta say hi first. Look at this baby boy. Is he the best? Give me kisses. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. His shirt says, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> single and ready to mingle. Look at him, look at him. Is he the best? Give me kisses, give me kisses. Oh, he, I've never been to Portugal, but I would love to go. I hear it's beautiful. When am I going back to Italy? We were thinking about this summer, but good friends of ours, daughter's getting married next summer. So I think we're going to wait and go next summer. I think that's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, they're asking, where's Mauro? He's here. Thank you, Conchetta. Isn't he adorable? Biscotti. Biscotti, he wants a cookie. Mommy's gonna give you a cookie. Here, Papa. Come here. We call him Mommy, Daddy, Papa. There, Papa. Okay? I gave him a, I gave him a little treat for my boy. Thank you, Mandy. So I, when I had him at the vet the other day, I said to the vet, you know, sometimes he stands by the cabinet because he knows the treats are on top. What am I going to do? I said, what do I do? I said, he goes crazy. You know, he wants a treat, but he doesn't bark. 
So he says, okay, you have to ignore him. He can't get 10 treats a day. I said, oops, because <laughs> he gets more. I said, but I get the mini ones. They're only five calories. I tell him, he goes, yeah, well, look at the size of him. He's little. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, you're making my tortellini for dinner. Very nice. Planning your daughter's wedding is one of the best times of my life. Yeah, that It's a beautiful thing. Biscotti is a teacup Yorkie. Hello, Carol from Maine. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Corned beef and cabbage is not an Irish dish. Dish. It's an American myth. Wait, 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 wait. I got to answer this. It's an American myth, and it's pad, Paddy Day, not Patty. This comes from a pure Irish people. All right, so listen, Alex Smith, I love you. But here in America, on St. Patty, St. Paddy's Day, you cook corned beef and cabbage. It's, I guess it's uh, American Irish. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Listen, I get it. It might not be the real, if coming from a real Irish, and I understand, but it's okay. Here in America, on St. Patty's Day, we make corned beef and cabbage. A lot of people say, oh, we, they, the real Irish make uh, bacon and cabbage or ham and cabbage. Sounds delicious. I would love to get that recipe and try that too. But here we use corned beef. And it's okay. Yes, Susan, it is fun and stressful. You're right. I did make Italian wedding soup, Christine. It's on our um, YouTube channel, Family Talk and Taste. The link is in my bio. It has the full recipe. I love a nice Italian wedding soup. Hi, Angela. I give him carrots, too. He likes the carrots. He always wants a treat. He always wants a treat, my baby boy. Hi, Antonella. Ah. Hi, Maxine. Hi, Brenda. It's true, Diane. Listen, that's the way we do it here in America. That's uh, that's right. You do your way. I'll do my way. My daughter's wedding. Wonderful planning. It is. It's nice to plan. All right, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye. I love you guys. Watch my video. I think uh, we put up the one. I made pastrami. It came delicious. Check it out. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. And everyone have a great day. All right.